what's up guys and girls Brandon here offered RC my team like hey I'm sorry this is not a uh, RC video this is for my one my one one my uh, my Jeep Wrangler I have a TJ um, anyways I wanted to throw some nice lights on it um, so I started hunting out for some uh, some good lights obviously rigid is the the you know the first choice of a lot of people to go look at um, the problem I have is I'm in Korea so once I start tacking on a thousand dollar a thousand dollar light bar then you're talking about you know how much more in shipping and uh, uh, and everything like that how much wait time is going to be hit that in a lot of factors so what I did was I ended up going a little cheaper I went to a, a company called Ingo E-N-G-O um, now most all the casing and stuff like that is, is pretty similar this is the wiring harnesses so this is the E2 almost like the, I mean it's equivalent to the D2 of the rigid basically um, I'll put the wattage and all the information into, into the description down lo below. You can look at it. Um, but they look really similar. This is the wiring harness uh, that comes with it. Um, and, uh, and I just wanted to kind of do an unboxing video. It's not going to be installing and stuff like that. I'm not installing these until probably closer to spring. It's in the middle of winter here. I think it's 18 degrees outside currently. Um, so I got some stuff to uh, warm me up. Anyways, coming in a little priority box. Uh, um, and then uh, obviously I'm trying to do this one-handed made in China right there on the side made in China so maybe maybe just the box is made in China uh, <laughs> anyways uh, I, I, I did I did some research as much as I could um, they are really really nice lights um, and just for some of you guys' information Ingo or Rough Country is starting to use their own light bars and this is where I got the information from Ingo Rough Country started putting out their own light system light bar systems um, now I don't know if they're retagging them or rebranding them or whatever I haven't seen one per, uh, first off um, but uh, I was going with a Rough Country 20 inch and I called the Rough Country and they said they're out of stock but you could check with our, our our number. Well, so then I asked them, "What was your main? Who's your main? Who's your main distributor? Who who, who buys the most of your products?" Uh, and then and they gave me that name, and then I called that individual, and um, they said they had only Ingo in, in stock. So I was like, "Okay, sorry, sorry." Looking at the two, and then they look exactly the same. So the 50 inch, which is behind me, by the way, um, but the they look exactly the same. So I called back Rough Country. You guys selling Ingo or are they the Ingo kind of lights? Oh no, we sell our own brand. Okay. Well, then, like a couple a day later or something like that, I'm watching a video, and uh, sure enough, the dang video Rough Country was putting out had uh, it was Ingo branded light bars up there. So you, <laughs> so you can see that most everybody is using these uh, like a Chinese housing factory, Chinese optics, Cree, whether it be Cree or whatever the other names of a hundred different things they sell. Are, but um, most of them are all really really the same I even think that uh, rigid uh, rigid actually I know that they have a patent on their optics but I think that's about it and that's why everybody uses the exact almost like the same cases for these things um, now these look pretty sharp uh, online I like that they're really cool looking um, and obviously I got two they are 24 watt right there spot um, so I was looking at I was looking at the rigid and I really wanted to put them you know I really really want to get rigid, but I ended up getting the Ingo uh, 50 inch uh, for a killer price. So and I can't honestly I can't open this box. Save my life here one handed. Put you down here real fast. All right. Sorry, back. <clears throat> anyway, that's what it looked like. So these are the Ingo E2s. Um, and I purchased this because they come with the lighthouse, they are 24 watt, um, they come with a wiring harness, and they, uh, they look pretty dang good. I mean, they are a good weight to them, I mean, they feel right, real nice and sturdy. Uh, I just like, I like the design of them, they, they look really, really good. Um, the videos that I watch, you can find a couple videos, I think, online. Of them, and they uh, they actually look really nice too. When they're when they're lit up, they look they're extremely bright um, in this uh, in this spot pattern, which is here on the box. You can see spot. Uh, anyways, um, yeah, I mean, this is them with a light harness. Oh, by the way, they cost me ninety nine dollars. That's right, a hundred bucks for both lights in the harness. Where did I get them? You ask. I got them from. Truck add-ons, jeepaddons.com. I'll put the link down there in the description. 
and uh, you guys can go look at it, uh, look it up. I know this has the, they said it had the toggle, everything, 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 the whole harness is in here. They said. So let's let's let's, let's I'll check on that later. Let's look the switch right over there. Anyways, I just wanted to give everybody an unboxing look at these because I didn't get to see one, and I really really want to see one. And now I'm trying to make those videos out there. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later, Brandon.